Welcome to Owning, one of the sleepiest villages in Ireland. But last week, its most famous resident exploded into life on the biggest stage of all. Joseph, to you, what was the most surprising thing about the whole Melbourne Cup experience? I suppose the, the, the how far the, the, ra the race reaches around the world, uh, uh, David. Um, um, like it, it, it really, there's people that uh, texted me after the race that wouldn't watch a race from one, one year to the next, you know. So um, that was, that was uh, something else, really. I, didn't, I hadn't appreciated how, how worldwide the race is. And after the race, you had to get up and speak in front of everybody. Was yeah. that nerve-wracking? Yeah, I, I didn't realise that um, you had to say a few words or whatever after the race. So that, that was uh, about as nervous as I had for a while before I had to say do that for about 30 seconds. So are you telling me that you were more nervous after the race than you were before, during the race? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 um, it was probably lucky that I didn't have much time to think about it because um, if I had, I could have, I could have ended up stuttering and stammering for five minutes. And like not me, say that, not say that. <laughs> but um, yeah. And just a word on the horse um, rekindling. You obviously have have given all the praise to the horse, but to keep him fresh from winning the second Sunday in in April, he won the Bally Sacks. To win a Melbourne Cup on the whatever the second Tuesday in in November in Australia. That's a long period of time. Like, how did you manage to keep him so fresh? Yeah, uh, listen. We, like, he's a very easy horse to train, so we never had to do too much work with him, so that probably made it easier in that he, he didn't really have a hard hard year at home. We were just keeping him fresh all, all year long. So um, it's testament to the horse, really, um, um, as much more than anything. And, and the lads riding him out, Michael Butler riding him out all year, um, Basil in the yard, and Mark and MJ and the lads that, that went to Australia with him, you know. And. The great news is that he's going to stay with you, which is obviously fantastic. He's coming back to Ireland. 2018, the main aim is? Yes, I think um, um, the plan is, is to go to Ascot. And um, after that, we'll see. We'll probably have a couple of preps somewhere along the way. And um, um, But I think Ascot will be the, the main goal. And um, hopefully we get there in one piece. The big question I want to know now is, where's the party? Are we having a Melbourne Cup party? 